first uh, as the name of your controller then the name of your action then I will get redirected to that view first child so we are at the first child and same we can go at the second child let's come back to the index view index view and to the required coding as we were going to talk about that yes first of all implement two button here which will call the action first child and second child I have created two buttons button data viewer where we would like to which viewer we are want to call and then that is bootstrap classes as we know I have added a special class add new add new we are going to handle this class in our jQuery methods and I would like to populate our view inside this div this div is empty this is not doing anything right now just I am going to write some code to get to handle these actions and that will get that view and insert here let's start some writing some javascript code secret tag secret tag and inside uh, inside this code i am going to write jquery so for time being i have pre-written some javascript uh, jquery code for this Let's pick copy and paste that here and uh, just that is okay. So I have created a function uh, get ajax data who I'm passing this URL and uh, this is a asynchronous method. This is getting data from our uh, uh, action method and return it to the uh, return it as a HTML okay I am calling that function on when I click add new button uh, this one when I will click this button I call it I get the data URL attribute this is and pass that to the load dialog I have created a load dialog function that is from where I am calling get ajax function and passing that a URL and a method type and content type. So I am getting the HTML content here. So simply I am I am updating the content place this div with new data that is coming from our action method okay. in this type we can call every type of method just let's see have a look how it works just go to and refresh it you can click first child first child is here or second child second child is here just do one more click here stop your project go to your controller copy and paste this method just click paste not write it third child third child and add the view as you are doing normally nothing special this is your third child and same go to your index view add one more method uh, one more button copy paste add re rename it to third